Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be going through my top 10 priority series that I would like to get through in the year of 2022. Now, this is going to be a collection of series that I'm already part way through, either one or two books in, and um, they are finished series. Are they complete series? Yes, fairly certain they're all complete series. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're all complete series, but they have three or more books in the series. So these are not duologies. I have a whole bunch of duologies that I am partway through. Obviously, I've read the first book and not the second book yet. If you want an entire video about those and to find out which duologies I'm partway through, let me know in the comments down below and I will do one of those for you. But these are all trilogies and plus. So do with that what you will um we have a lot of brandy sandy on here and most of these you'll probably be expecting to be perfectly honest some of them are a little bit random but these are my top 10 series that i would like to get through so let's start off with brandy sandy and we're gonna go for um skyward series so this is skyward and star sight the third one being cytonic i will show a picture of it here because my edition has not come by the time i'm filming this because i'm filming it filming it really early on in november um, because I'm keen on Vlogmas. So I have read Skyward. In fact, I've read Skyward twice. I just love this book. I think it's fantastic. The audiobook is just so freaking good. I'm obsessed. We're following a young girl called Spencer whose dad was branded a traitor when he disappeared partway through a fight many, many moons ago when... Um, Spencer was younger now she would like to be a pilot basically he was a pilot and she would like to now become a pilot and fight the Corral which is the baddies basically that her dad was fighting when he disappeared and became a traitor and um she would like to now become a pilot however she has this black mark against her name essentially because her dad was branded a traitor and she struggles with this you know with flight school and stuff she ends up coming across this abandoned ship which she then gets up and running and gets working and she ends up living there because she's kind of not welcomed into the school um where she goes to for flight training and stuff where everybody tends to live she's not welcome there so she lives in this ship this ship is called mbot and it's just the sassiest person ship thing you've ever met in your life i absolutely love it the audiobook's fantastic because mbot is scottish and it's outstanding and then there's this little duck little slug called doom slug which is also adorable oh no it's spencer on the side of here i have um these are some magnetic bookmarks to match the characters and there's a doom slug one and it's really really cute um so yeah we've got spencer doom slug and mbot and it's just fantastic i really really enjoy this series this is a ya sci-fi and then we have the second one which is star sight which i am part way through i got part way through this earlier on last year 2020 maybe i can't remember I ended up in a slump and didn't carry on. I am going to start it again. Uh, my, I have every intention of starting this again from the beginning and then reading Cytonic straight away. And I'm fairly certain that this is just a trilogy. Actually, now that I think about it, it could be... It could be a foursome. I can't remember. A quartet. It could be a quartet. Now that I think about it. So, well, either way whatever my entire plan is to get through uh star sight and also cytonic by the end of 2022 so that i'm up to date with the series at least even if it is a quartet uh but but if it is a quartet the fourth one should come out at the end of 2022 so you know i'll be up to date um and by the end of 22 2022 maybe i will have finished the series who knows but that's the first one that i would like to get through then carrying on with Brandy Sandy and then we'll come back to him again a little bit later because it's on the bottom of another pile. Uh, we have the Mistborn Era 2 series. So this starts off with Alloy of Law, goes on to Shadows of Self and then into the Bands of Mourning. I have read Alloys of Law. I'm buddy reading this series specifically with Jade and both of us have been struggling just with our mental health and stuff and with slumps and things like that. So we haven't carried on, but we really both enjoyed the Alloys of Law. I'm fairly certain we both gave it four stars. So we did enjoy this one and we're ready to move on to Shadows of self i think pretty soon and then carry on with it with the bands of mourning so i would like to finish 
the Miss Born Era 2 series. In this one, our main character is Wax, and this is many, 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 many years on from Miss Born Era 1, in which we follow Kelsia, Vin, and Ellen, and Sazed, Owen Spook as well. Um, and they have all since become legends from the first story. Now, I'm not going to spoil what happens in that first story, but I can't read off the back of the book because it does. Um, so, in this one, we are following Wax, who the magic system in this is Allomancy. So, basically, these people people can ingest um, metals and use that for magic, for pushing and pulling and things like that. Um, the people that can ingest more than one metal are misborns and um, that's kind of just how the magic works in this world and obviously we are many many years on now and the magic system has kind of advanced a little bit but not too much and we kind of have Wax doing his own thing and go in his own way. I don't know. It's a bit more complicated than that, but it's hard to describe without spoiling what happens in Miss Born Era 1. But I would like to finish this series so that I can then start on the Stormlight Archives because I would really like to get into those as well. I was going to put the whole of the Stormlight Archives on this list, but I don't want to put that pressure on myself because that is a lot of books. I don't know if you can see. Um, so the Stormlight Archives is all of these. Oh, sorry, Anna. <laughs> um okay all of these are the stormlight archives and um i don't even own all of them i don't think at this point so because i don't have rhythm of war and i think that's part of the stormlight archives so um i didn't want to put all of those on there and put that pressure on myself but miss born era 2 should be doable it shouldn't be too difficult for me to get through and i would like to finish the series out so that i can move on to that one um then we have a reasonably small series but many books in the series i do own them all um and that is the murderbot diary series so this is book one which is all systems read and i'm currently up to book three which is rogue protocol i have read book two which is artificial condition um, and then we have book three book four book five I think there's five books and then a, no a novel as well because these are all novellas and basically this is following a murder bot who is exactly what it says on the tin however he has since been programmed to kind of protect these doctors and stuff but he decides to go off and essentially become rogue <laughs> rogue and um just do his own thing he kind of just wants to live and this is essentially just diaries of his life and it's, it sounds really mundane, but it's actually really interesting and I really enjoy it. If you love sci-fi and you're into your like novellas and stuff, you'll really enjoy this. The audiobooks are really good as well. Um, and it's quite comedic as well. I have a really good time with these. They're really nice for breaking up long series and things like that. So I would like to finish this series out though in the year of 2022. So that would be handy to do. Then we have the Shatter Me series, which I'm currently up to book four, which is Restore Me. I have book four, five and six to read, as well as the novellas in between. Um, and I'm really enjoying this series so far. We're following a girl called Juliet, who basically, if you were to, if she was to touch you, you would die. Um, it's uh, quite sinister, but she has this gift that basically the rebels want to kind of uh, use her against the resistance and she doesn't want that she's been treated very differently all of her life and she doesn't want that and she ends up becoming part of the resistance and um it's really really good there is a love triangle here which i'm usually not down for but honestly i kind of don't mind it because it's not an established relationship to start off with those are the love triangles that really piss me off but there's no established relationship to start off with so kind of don't mind the love triangle i do have my favorite but we'll see how that goes uh but yeah so far really enjoying this one it is ya dystopian and i'm really having a good time with it um it's a little bit trashy but honestly i just really have a good time with these i think they're really good for breaking up again long series although this is a reasonable size they're really fast paced and really easy to get through so yeah excited about continuing on with this series then we do have a chunky series and that is the poppy war series by rf kwong i have read the poppy war i read it at the beginning of 2021 and i absolutely loved it which i was really surprised about on 
honestly thought I was going to DNF this and I ended up giving it five stars. It's probably my most surprising read of the year because I don't like politics and I thought for that reason I was going to hate this but look how much I've broken this spine. Thought for that reason I was going to end up hating this book. This is a series that I want to kick myself in the face for daily not getting the Illumicrate editions. Uh, the other one is the City of Brass series because um, I adore, I don't even know where I'm looking for, oh they're up there, I adore that series and I just, that's the one more than anything that I want to repeatedly punch myself in the face for not getting the Illumicrate edition, uh, the Feralute editions of those because they were stunning and literally a week after they came out I read the first book and flew through the whole series in the space of about three weeks. So, big sad. But, the Poppy War. I've read The Poppy War. I really want to get onto The Dragon Republic and then into The Burning God. And I would like to finish this series out. This, this is a series that's steeped in Chinese mythology and folklore. And basically, it's steeped in war and politics and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really good following a girl called Rin and she aces the Keiju, which is the test to find the most talented students in the Kara Empire. And it was a shock to everyone that she got into the Singard at the most elite military school in Nikan was even more surprising but surprises aren't always good um so it's kind of following her going through this process and then going off into war and things like that it is very dark um do be wary going into this there is a scene part way through this that is very 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 grim so just be careful going into that uh, trigger warnings for um torture rape murder all of the trigger warnings essentially but I loved this it was great so I really want to carry on with the series and finish it off in the year of 2022 if it's all possible I was really hoping to finish it this year but I've just not had a chance to pick it up then we have one that you guys probably haven't seen me talking about much if at all really but I would really like to finish this one off because I've been really enjoying it and I really like the movie for the first book as well so it's The Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve now I've read books one and two the second book could be in Predator's Gold but I would really like to carry Carry on. The third book is Infernal Devices and the fourth one is A Darkening Plane and Dark Darkling Plane. A Darkling Plane struggles. Um, and then there is a spin-off series from this as well, starting with Night Flights. Sorry, I just keep looking at my shelves because that's where they are. Um, but I would really like to carry on with this essentially and find out what happens to our fellow friends. So in this one, this is like a dystopian type world where towns are now on wheels. Um, and it's really interesting because some of the m bigger towns like London, for example, which are cities, obviously, um, can sometimes like annihilate and entirely eat the smaller towns. And they basically just travel the world on wheels. It's the craziest thing, but it's really, really awesome. We're following a young apprentice called Tom who ends up buddying up with this girl called Hester who's been treated really, really badly um, previously. And they end up teaming up and just trying to... Um, he ends up flung out into the wastelands where terrifying cyborgs begin to hunt him down. Um, and it's really, really good. Very interesting. I really love the world in here. I just think it's really, really cool. And the movie is great as well. So I would recommend um, this series and also the movie. But I'm really looking forward to continuing on with this and finding out what happens next. Because it's been a hot minute since I picked this series up. So I would like to figure out what happens next carry on with it then we have the green bone saga which is jade city by fonda lee followed by jade war and then also jade legacy i don't own a copy of jade legacy yet i am getting the illumicrate special editions of these which i'm really really excited about um but i really again another surprise for me because the politics and all of that jazz but i didn't expect to love this one but i did it was fantastic i really had a good time with it so i have only read jade city obviously want to read jade war and jade legacy jade legacy has just come out um but this is an epic drama reminiscent of the best classic hong kong gangster films but taking place in fantasy metro metropolis so gritty and well imagined that you'll forget you're reading a book i would agree with that so essentially jade is a stone that can enhance a warrior's speed and um strength natural speed and strength and it's mined and then it's sold on and things like that and it's causing problems between these two gangs um within the city jun loon and 
um, when a modern drug emerges that allows anyone, even foreigners, to wield jade, simmering tensions between the two clans erupt into an open war. It's really, really good. I got so invested in these two clans and this war. It was uh, fantastic and I'm really, really excited. I'm a little bit mad, actually, that I've taken so long to pick up Jade War because I didn't want the time to be too long between reading these two books because I knew I would forget a lot of what happened in here and I didn't want that to happen and it kind of has a little bit. So I might need to go online and see if I can find a recap on this that tells me everything that happens because I don't really want to reread it if I can help it because these books are not small you know <laughs> and I think Jade Legacy is probably even bigger maybe so I would like a recap on these but I really really enjoy this series and I'm looking forward to continuing on and getting my special editions from Illumicrate. I'm so freaking hyped because they look amazing. Then we have the Spellslinger series by Sebastian de Castell. I am currently up to book three which is Charm Charmcaster by Sebastian de Castell obviously. This is a YA fantasy series and we're following a young boy called Kellen who in the first book is moments away from his mage's jewel and he still hasn't come into his magic uh big problems obviously um and basically uh, it's the start of four trials that will make him spell class caster there's just one problem his magic is gone as his 16th birthday approaches kellen falls back on his cunning until a daring stranger challenges him to take a different path i really enjoy this series i think it's great and i have a good time with it again another one that can just you know break up those really long adult fantasy series it's a lot of fun the narrator for the audiobooks is outstanding joe jameson my favorite narrator of all time um so yeah the writing style in these is so good as well the comedic element is fantastic and uh farius parfax is just top notch she's outstanding so yeah i'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series there are one two three four five i think six books in this series so i'm looking forward to carrying on with this series and also hopefully finishing it in the year of 2022 then the second to last series i have here is the Barcia trilogy so we have assassin's apprentice by robin hobb this is the first in a very long incredibly long series um which basically follow back to back i don't know what the entire series is called to be perfectly honest it doesn't say um but this is the first in this trilogy and um i've read assassin's apprentice i thought it was fantastic i had a great time with this book and i'm really excited about carrying on with royal assassin and also assassin's quest to finish the farcia trilogy off so that i can continue on with the other tr other trilogies in this series um so yeah having a really good time with this one it so basically we're following a young boy called fitz who is the bastard son of the crown prince who then has to abdicate the throne um because he has a bastard son uh, fitz ends up hated however he is raised in the castle stables and um he is put to work and, and eventually in order to become useful to the crown fitz is trained as an assassin and we just it's basically a slice of life book but following this young boy through this not great life i'm not gonna lie um it's pretty sad uh, but it turns out that fitz has got some uh, something a little bit different about him and it's quite interesting and i'm really excited about finding out more about him and seeing where his life goes i am expecting tears all the way through this trilogy um but yeah I had a really good time with this one and I would really like to carry on with it and finish it off. Again, I was hoping to read these like back to, well not back to back so much, but one a month. But my slump hit so I couldn't. And then the final series that I have on here is another Brandy Sandy series. And it is the Reckoner series with the first book being Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first, I think the first ever Brandon Sanderson book that I read even before Skyward. And I really, really enjoyed it. This this is a superhero type book where basically 10 years ago cal calamity came and essentially turned ordinary men and women into the epics so it gave them super superhuman powers and things like that and the only people that would fight them were the reckoners who are just your bog standard everyday human people um and we end up following a young boy not a young boy we end up following a young man called david who is determined to join the reckoners um and he has his sights set on killing the greatest epic of them all steelheart the epic who killed his father it's really really good and i've been really enjoying it so far i have read this one and also one of the short stories in this series which is called 
mitosis i've read that one as well which follows one of the um one of the epics called mitosis it follows david trying to defeat this epic essentially um so i have read steel heart and i want to move on to firefight and calamity so i do really enjoy this series and i cannot wait to continue on with them and i'm so excited that i have these editions as well i had like the massive american us paperback of this um and i didn't like it, it was too big so i'm really glad thank you to Kristen for getting me this one and i'm fairly certain that these were gifted as well nope not that one uh calamity no not that one so um thank you to Kristen for getting me this one but yeah i'm so excited to have these editions as well and i would really like to finish this series so those are the, i'm not i'm not picking them all up because there's so many but those are the 10 series that are priorities for me for 2022 and i'm really looking forward to getting to i hope i get the chance to get to all of them fingers crossed that i do um obviously by doing this it puts a lot of pressure on me but i also think it holds me accountable because i am getting sick to death of starting new series and not finishing off the ones i'm already part way through uh, especially the ones that are like trilogies that wouldn't take me that long to finish you know because these books aren't exactly long it would not take me that long to get through them so um yeah i just kind of want to hold myself accountable and then maybe i can do like a reactions video at the end of next year or the beginning of the year after or something to see whether or not i got through these series um but yeah please let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these series what were your thoughts on them or are you thinking about now picking them up on the basis of what i've told you um and let me know in the comments down below and i hope you have enjoyed this video and i shall see you in the next one bye for now